Alright geezers, JB here and today I'm bringing you yet another player review. This time it's on MLS All-Star Team of the Season Bradley Wright Phillips. Last episode I did Team of the Season Dempsey as a striker so please check him out. But today yeah, we're focusing on Bradley Wright Phillips. I scored 9 goals in 6 games getting 2 assists which I was quite proud of. But um, to be fair I've got mixed opinions on him so hopefully... I am quite in depth in what I say about him and you get a good eye or rough idea on whether you feel you want to buy him and try him out yourself. Anyway, thanks guys and hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so I'm going to get straight into this and start with his pace. Well, I'd say his pace is amazing. I'll probably compare it to the likes of what you'd expect of like Theo Walcott, Aaron Lennon. That was a really big factor of his game. It got him away from defenders. He could pace, outpace any defender. And that is a big selling point for him. That is one thing that I really liked about him. Um, his shooting. Now, his finishing inside the box was amazing. It's what I'd probably expect from a 88 gold striker. He really could finish inside the box. In those tight angles. Got himself into good positions. When he was there. And managed to score a lot of goals with inside the box or create good opportunities inside the box now shooting from distance was very disappointing his long range shots his long shots his finesse shots dipping shots whatever they are he could not finish them he was not planting them he had no shot power behind it everything was a shambles i thought I hope i could get some good clips of him from range but when you're paying 300 or 400k for a striker it's not what you want and that was something that really let him down as a card as a whole and I really didn't enjoy shooting with him from range. Um, he's dribbling. Now this was the perfect part to him. He was dribbling like Messi's dribbling. In and out of players. He could beat four to five players at certain points. And his dribbling kind of like. Because he could just burst. Like if a player's nearly out muscling him. Because he is very weak. He could just quickly burst away. Because that's what his dribbling was doing for him. It was making, or well, occasionally making up for the fact that his strength is absolutely awful. Now the one thing that was the mat, the worst part about his card that really has put me off wanting to use him after this review is his positioning. Now he's got medium, medium work rates, which affects some players, doesn't affect others. It really did affect him. Sometimes he'd be out on the wing. At one point, I didn't actually get the clip, but he was tracking back in left back. And that was embarrassing. And he, he could have got a lot more goals. Because he's got a lot of ability. It's just his positioning killed him. Absolutely killed him. He's like, he's playing as a centre midfield, sometimes centre back. Like you occasionally see him in striker. And that's the real deal about it. So that was a big disappointing. His heading, didn't really try it out to be fair. He was very small. Didn't really get in the right positions at times. And... Yeah, so I haven't really got much to say on that. His passing, he did a few good bits of link up, play of a bong the now and then. It, nothing really stand out. So, yeah, that I'd probably say that he wasn't the best, but he had some really good shines and he has really good ability, as I said. I played him against gold cards and silver cards, and oh, he was definitely better against silvers than he was against golds, let's put it that way. So his pros and cons I've given for him is outstanding pace, dribbling and finishing, which you can't quite see on the screen, I don't think. Sorry about that, but if you can, then it's calm. And cons are work rates, strength and long shots, as I explained in the video. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I know my commentary might not be the best, but I'm, improve I'm just trying to improve on it as I gradually make videos. So it'd be cool if you could subscribe, like, even comment. And follow us on Twitter and stuff like that. Cheers, guys. <laughs>